Fields? I don't think he's here yet. He was expecting to be called at 1030. Alright. Sure. 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 we'd like to call uh, Mr. Uh, Christopher Munger. Oh, uh, just a moment. <laughs> city in Hamilton County? Well, actually, I don't reside in the city. I reside on the Withlacoochee River uh, west of here. The address is Jasper, though. And about how far west of where we are? About 20 miles. And that's not within the city limit? No. And how long have you lived in Hamilton County? I've lived in Hamilton County since 2010. I've owned property here since 2000. 2001. When you say you own property here, would you be more specific about the location of that property? Uh, I've owned property on the Withlacoochee River since that time, 2000. And what is the, uh, is it more than one acre? Yes. It was, when I first bought it, it was approximately one acre, and we've acquired additional parcels, and it's somewhere between four and five acres. And that's the uh, property you live on now? Yes. Do you have a, a, um, a, a home structure? Yes, full-time resident. All right. And uh, what's the distance of your home to the uh, actual uh, border, the river? Um, it's probably, I don't know, 150 feet, roughly. Are you a member of the Walls Board? Yes. And it would be the Walls Coalition, Inc.? Walls Watershed Coalition, Inc. 501c3. 501c3. Okay. And that is a, a, a Georgia 501c3? Yes. And it's registered to do business in Florida, is that correct? Yes. And how many members are on its board of directors? Uh, currently, I believe we have uh, seven. And are you one of the directors? I am a board member, I'm not on the executive committee. So you're a director but not an officer? Correct. Right. Are you on any committees <coughs> aside I, the executive committee? I am on uh, the outings committee, I'm on, uh, which I chair. Uh, I am on the Withlacoochee Water Trail Committee, which I also chair. Right. And I'm also the representative of Walls to the Florida Springs Council. Would you, uh, representative of Walls, I'm oh, sorry. Walls is a member uh, of the, the Florida Springs Council, and I'm Walls' representative to that council. So you are the uh, delegated representative of Walls Coalition, Inc., to the Florida Springs Council? Yes, sir. And the Florida Springs Council, can you describe that organization somewhat? Florida Springs Council is an organization put together of other like organizations, like WALS, that are concerned about Florida Springs in particular. So there's about 30 plus organizations that make up that council. Do they meet annually? <coughs> Biannually. All right. Uh, and we have telephone conferences on other issues. Thank you very much. Uh, what is your current occupation? I am self-employed. I'm a handyman locally here. 
and when you're not engaged in your uh, in your labor for a living, are you uh, uh, have any hobbies? Absolutely. Uh, activities. Absolutely. Uh, I'm an avid outdoorsman, uh, and my duties uh, as uh, outings committee chair, I am constantly researching outdoor uh, activities, uh, planning events, outdoor events, canoe trips, hikes uh, through state parks, some private lands too, um, and not only planning these, but uh, going out and exploring uh, them ahead of time, and then also leading these expeditions. Uh, All right. so uh, how many that, I'm sorry. Well, that's just part of what I do. Okay. Uh, and then uh, I was a water trail committee chair. You know, we're uh, definitely uh, involved in exploring the river, its tributaries, the complete watershed. Uh, and identifying unique features about it and, and getting that information out to the public so they can enjoy it. Uh, but how many uh, other members are on the uh, outdoor committee? Outdoor uh, committee? We have three, three others right now. All right. And as chair, with the three other members, you organize events, is that correct? Yes. Are those events for Walls Coalition members? They are for Walls Coalition coalition members, but they're they're also for uh, the general public. Most of our outings uh, and events are open to the public, and we encourage the public to join. And how about the uh, with Lacucci River Water Trail Committee? Same number of members? I think there's a few more. Let's see. I think we got seven. Similar uh, structure that the uh, committee acting through its chair plans events for the general membership. Is that portion yes. correct? Yes. And public is invited to participate in those outings? Always. Are you also the uh, registered agent for Walls Watership Coalition in Florida? Yes. It's Florida registered agent. Yes. Thank you very much. Have you had an opportunity to um, look over the uh, amended petition that's been filed in this proceeding? I have. So is it your general understanding that the, well, what is your general understanding of Walsh Coalition's uh, uh, mission statement, if you will? You don't have to quote it, but if you know it. Yeah, the mission? It, no, mission statement. Oh, the mission statement. Yes, sir. Um, Walls, I should know this, but I'll be a bit on the spot. Um, Walls Watershed Coalition, which is an acronym for with Lacucci, Willacucci, Alapaha, Little, and Upper Swanee Rivers, we advocate for the conservation of these rivers and their watersheds through. Uh, yeah, I can't remember the whole thing, but through citizen activities, uh, advocacy in citizen activities. Thank you. Why would you do that? Because it's a good thing to do. I mean, I enjoy being outdoors. I enjoy sharing it with the public. Uh, and uh, part of the reason we advocate for these rivers and watersheds is, is so people can enjoy them the same way we do, and hopefully they will protect them. And by they the who you're referring to? Or to the, the people, the, people the, general pub, the general population. So if a, a company was to uh, install a, um, a utility line down the area that you conduct your outings, that would be a matter of interest for you and your coalition, would it not? Absolutely. Uh, we're, we're the water uh, keeper for the Upper Swanee and all its watershed, which includes with Lacucci and well all the rivers I just made and uh, so any negative impact whether it's from a pipeline or any activity is part of our business. Well you use the word watershed uh, rather water keeper. Mm -hmm. uh, 
You referred to a, a, a brand, a trademark, a name of an organization? Yes, it's a worldwide uh, recognized uh, trademark. Um, there are water keepers and water keeper affiliates all, all over the world. And, and this is the organization you know, that, that assigns uh, areas to organizations like, like us uh, to advocate for them. Are there other water keeper affiliates recognized by the water keeper um, parent uh, who oh, are yeah. watching the Withlacoochee River? Uh, that are watching the Withlacoochee? Yes, their activity in Withlacoochee. Not the, no. It's a worthy water keeper or water keeper affiliate for the Withlacoochee River and the Upper Swan and all its watershed. So you take that uh, responsibility personally, don't you? Absolutely. We agreed to it, and we're going to do it. Do people contact you? Uh, other members of the Watershed Coalition contact you for your knowledge of uh, being so intimately close to the river? Uh, not only members of Walls Watershed Coalition. Uh, here in the county, uh, I've been recognized as a person to get that information from. So it would be correct to say that members of the general public would and have turned to you uh, expecting you to be the watchkeeper, so to speak, uh, in the surrounding areas of your residence. Yes, and to supply them information about issues like this pipeline and other other issues as well. You are pre you uh, present at a Hamilton County meeting of the commissioners where the pipeline was discussed. Several. Uh, are you familiar with a resolution that was referenced earlier today? <clears throat> Resolution 14-10. I am familiar with it. I was the one that brought it before the commission. Okay, thank you. And uh, when the commission concluded its, uh, its its findings and made its resolution, were you the person to receive it? Objection. Uh, facts not in evidence. Also relevant, Your Honor, I think we just talked about this resolution of the acts of Hamilton County not being relevant to this proceeding. I'm trying to explain the activity of Mr. Shields. Miracle. I'm sorry, sorry very sorry. Mr. Miracle, uh, with, with regard to uh, his advocacy. All right. Advocacy is not a substantial interest that's been recognized by the courts. It doesn't matter how much you're interested in something, that's not what the interest means in the term substantial interest. It means you use the water body for recreational activities. You swim, fish, crab, scuba dive, all that stuff. <laughs> I did all that but crab it. <laughs> it does not mean you're interested, extremely interested, because there might be somebody in uh, Dade County that's extremely interested. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much he advocates. Um, that's not an interest. Advoc advocacy is not a protected interest. Thank you, Your Honor. Would you tell us about the last outing that involved, um, that included uh, activity on the Withlacoochee? On the Withlacoochee? Yes, sir. Um, I don't remember the date. That's OK. Um, we took it. I know we took a trip last year, uh, and we 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 put in at um, we put in at a boat ramp uh, about eight miles north of the Swanee River, and we canoed all the way down to the Swanee River to Anderson Square, um, and we had uh, I think. Close to 20 boats in that uh, that outing, and uh, the Swanee River. We just had an outing there on the 15th of August, uh, where we put in at Gibson Park and we paddled to the State Park uh, landing. Um, now we also had about 20 boats in that in that outing. Uh, we're scheduled to do another outing on uh, November 22nd on the Swanee. Uh, More than one person per boat? So, 
we had kayaks and canoes. Um, so, you know, you could you could say on those two outings, you know, we had, I don't know, 18 to 22 people or something like that. And aside from uh, boating and canoeing, what other activity do you mention? <coughs> uh, we hike. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm inter I do scuba diving. Um, I've just gotten into that recently. Uh, and I'm, I've gotten into taking photographs of springs, uh, underwater photographs of springs. Um, and the fish, obviously, swim. Um, and I just enjoy being out in nature. I like getting out there. Uh, like I said, I'm going to have it outdoors. Do you, um, do you know um, Marley, who testified earlier? Yes, I do. Uh, are you familiar with her organization down on Santa Fe? Yes. Do you have any activities um, with that organization? Do you personally have any activities with her organization? No, not personally. Um, we. We do invite them and their group to attend our events, uh, you know, and vice versa. So, I mean, we, we share information and have events together and stuff like that. Did you share information with Murley uh, with regard to your concerns of how you may, you and your group may be affected by the uh, proposed pipeline? Sure. I did. In person or by written communication? Um, it was all in person, you know, conversations that we've had at different events that we've been together at. Have you uh, walked with and made observations in regard to how uh, the impact of the pipeline may affect you with Marley? Objection or they walk where? On the uh, uh, proposed area. No, I have, I have not been to that proposed, any proposed uh, route with Maryland. Have you you've been to proposed routes by yourself or with others? Well, I've been to the proposed routes with plenty of people. Many. And was the intention of going to those proposed routes to observe how you may be affected by what is proposed? Yes. All right. Well, um, well, I mean, I, I, I will say I have hiked these areas before this right. pipeline, so I have been there for other things as well. So, all right. So you know where to go. Is that correct? That's right. <laughs> I think I have nothing further for uh, Mr. Merkel. Ross. Morning, sir. Morning. The pipeline doesn't cross the Wichita River anymore, does it? Well, it doesn't cross anywhere yet. It's not proposed to cross the Wichita River, right? As far as I know, that uh, route is abandoned. And how long has it been a member of Walls? Um, by, uh, well, I joined in August of 2014. And do you pay dues as a member? Yes, I do. And what are the dues? Well, uh, my wife and I, we. Uh, we joined at a two hundred and fifty dollar level this year. So there's membership levels? Yes. And how long is your membership good for? Oh, uh, one year. And you said you've taken in organized canoeing events on the or, or boating events on the Swanee River? Yes. Sir. And how many times have you done that? I have uh, taken uh, two two trips on the Swanee River with the organized uh, organized trips since I've been a member of Walls. Okay. And have were those trips enjoyable? Absolutely. Do you, do you consider them successful? Yes. And those trips were done even though there's a, an existing 36 inch natural gas pipeline that crosses the Swanee River? I'm not aware of that. And the project that's proposed doesn't cross any of your personal property, does it? No, sir. No further questions. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Few questions for you today. Who are the members of the Walls Executive Committee? 
Dave Hensel, uh, John Quarterman, uh, Gary Gentry, and uh, Gretchen Quarterman. Who's the president? John Quarterman. And how about the secretary? Gretchen Quarterman. And the treasurer? Oh, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, the, the secretary is Gary Gentry. And the treasurer is Gretchen Quarterman. How are membership records maintained? Well, you see that camera right there? We record everything in our meetings, and we take minutes. And those minutes are logged, put in a book, a binder, and uh, kept on, on, on record. So if, if anyone has a want to see them, they're there. How do you keep track of who's currently a member? We have a membership committee that does that. And uh, they they keep the record. I'm not totally aware of uh, how exactly they do it, but I know there's a spreadsheet online where we have all the members listed, what they have given, their names, addresses, etc. Who maintains the website? Uh, <coughs> Gretchen Horton. And who's on the membership? Or the website or the spreadsheet? Well, both. Um, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure Gretchen maintains the spreadsheet. She may have part of it to do with the website, but I think John is mostly on the website. Uh, who else is on the membership committee? Um, well, there's myself. Um, membership. Oh, membership committee. Uh, Dave Hetzel and uh, my wife, Ann and her. And Gary. Oh, and I think Gary. Gary, Gary. I don't know. I didn't know somebody that helped out. <laughs> Do, uh, you mentioned uh, joining at a $250 membership level. Are there uh, several different levels of membership? Yes. Uh, starts as low as $25, actually 15 for a student, 25 for a single person, 40 for a family membership, and you can give as much as you want. Are member, are, uh, members who give more, do they receive membership benefits? Different from the uh, benefits that might be received from the members Let me who give less? Say, you know, the questioning of this wish, I don't know if someone's <laughs> Many irrelevant questions were asked now many irrelevant questions are being asked about the council. <laughs> what, what are we doing? It should be about, you know, what difference does it make? What level there are members? I'm trying to determine the We'll move on. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> you mentioned a canoe trip on the Swanee. Do you believe this project will affect your ability to conduct future canoe trips? It may. If there are any negative impacts, it certainly will. Do you know if the applicant is proposing any substantial negative impacts to her? If they're proposing them, I believe they are. But what, are, what do you believe are substantial negative impacts that they're proposing? Well, I believe that, uh, that the Swanee River crossing site is very similar to the Winter Beach crossing site in, in uh, the Karst terrain. Objection and calls for expert opinion. Well, okay, let me rephrase that. Yeah, Mr. Question. I believe he's objecting to Yes, he can do that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Is it just the use of the word karst? Well, I think a, a foundation uh, objection as well as to wants to compare two geologic or geographic areas. I'm just simply trying to understand what substantial negative impacts are. Well, that's how we learn things, compare them. Well, on the boat. Or the witness believes are proposed, in fact. May I ask a question? Not, not yet. <laughs> well, there's no foundation laid for him to give expert opinions about karst geology. May I say something wrong? Some, no. Some, uh, some I, I've said before that, that a person, a 
Floridian who's paid attention can see limestone. Uh, karst is a special kind of situation with limestone. Uh, I think maybe the disintegration of limestone to create cavities can be observed. Certainly, you don't have to be an expert to know if you're looking at a sinkhole uh, in most cases. But, you know, it's very limited. So once you get in, once you start using uh, terms that you read about in uh, materials put out by an agency about karst windows and and you're just you're guessing that it's a conduit flow when you see the water in there. That's the kind of thing that you're, you're really guessing at as a layperson generally, uh, unless the foundation is laid that by some special training or experience you can determine the difference and uh, make the kind of distinctions that experts can make who, who are constantly taking borings and been sites all over Florida and understand. Uh, all about carceology. So a little bit a little bit will be allowed uh, when you're just talking about you observe the, the depression and have water in the bottom and the water seem to be moving, things like that. I'll allow that. But uh, opinions about what it all means uh, geologically, I'm not gonna allow that. Okay. Um, can you repeat that last question? Very precious in my mind. Your Honor, I'm just going to withdraw the question. I have nothing further. Okay. Can you read the right? So you withdrew your question as to whether Sable Trail had proposed any negative impacts. If that was not the that was not the question. What was the question? Whether they proposed a substantial negative impact. But I withdrew that. Thank you. Um, Mr. Merkel. Uh, have you ever uh, observed wastewater flowing down from Waldosta into your region? That's not a relevance. Mm -hmm. Water flowing down. Um, I'll ask a little differently than that. All right. Have you ever been asked to make observations whether, from your personal observation, wastewater was flowing? Downstream. Objection calls for hearsay. And it's irrelevant. Wastewater flowing downstream. He's been asked whether wastewater is flowing downstream. Is that really what you want to know? No, not when you put it that way. I'm trying to, uh, the, the, the purpose here is to point out that um, uh, Mr. Miracle is. <coughs> Is, is sort of a go-to person and, and is, uh, shows the activity level of the coalition that he's a member of. His advocacy and the advocacy of his organization is not a protected interest. What the law is trying to protect is the person's uh, use of the resource uh, because if that resource is harmed, those uses will be diminished or eliminated. So it's not concerned with money, it's not concerned with simple interest. You're really interested in something. It's not concerned with advocacy. Uh, you could theoretically be a, a terrific advocate for a water body you never go to because you just love water bodies generally and you're willing to stand up and tell every, you know, advocate for something. So, no, advocacy is out. Interest is out. Actual use. Uh, and, and land ownership, of course, if it crosses your land, that's an interest in uh, your own land. Uh, those are things that you must confine your inquiry about. Uh, then I have another further for uh, Mr. Merkel. No, we further on. Thank you, sir. You may step down. Thank you. Let's take a five-minute break.